in this episode of the Christian Home and Family Podcast, I want to explain to you how having your kids memorize Bible verses could actually destroy them. Okay, let me start out by being very clear. I love the Bible. I believe it to be God's Word, divinely inspired, and profitable for our instruction, edification, and teaching. I can't tell you how much I have grown because of the truths the Scriptures contain. I read it every single day of my life. But I also know from personal experience that a head full of Bible verses can be a very damaging thing. You can know what the scriptures say and have it do absolutely no good in your life. The same is true for your children. You can enroll them in Awanas or Pioneer Club or Child Evangelism Fellowship. All very good and wonderful organizations, by the way. And you could even encourage your kids to memorize all the Bible verses in the world. But if you don't do one vital thing, it's not going to help them one tiny little bit. What is it you've got to do? You've got to help them understand what all those Bible verses mean. Picture a Bible verse or passage of scripture like a suitcase or, or like this bag right here. You want to open up that suitcase or that verse and unpack all the nuggets of truth that it contains. You want to walk through it word by word, phrase by phrase to make sure your kids are understanding on their level what the verse is actually saying. That can be a very hard thing to do, can it? Well, I'm a busy man. I've got soccer to get the kids to, and work to do every day, and, and housework, and chores, and meals to prepare, and friends to see, and groceries to buy, and homeschooling to do, and a hunting trip I'm planning for, and a men's group at church. I mean, honestly, I don't have the time to sit down with my kids between every Sunday school class or weekly Awana meeting and help them understand the verses they're being asked to memorize. Wait a minute. I hope you see how ridiculous that sounds. To believe, even for a second, that you're too busy to help your children understand God's Word is like saying you're too busy to breathe. It's like saying that all those activities and responsibilities that make up your life are more important than your children's eternal well-being and spiritual health. It's ridiculous. So how do you do it? How do you help your kids unpack the Bible verses they're getting week after week after week? First, you've got to reassess your life. If you have so many things going on, individually or as a family, that you can't sit down for 20 minutes with your children one time a week so that you can review and talk about their Bible memory lessons, you are way too busy. Something has got to go. I know that sounds radical, but Jesus is a radical Savior. He doesn't just want your kids to know what His Word says. He wants them to understand what it means and how to apply it to their young lives. So if making the time for this seems overwhelming, that's a good sign that you've got too much on your plate. Unload some things for the sake of your kids. Second, do it. As you help the kids review their verses, stop and discuss each phrase in its logical sequence. Here's an example. If the verse says, God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, stop and talk about who God is their Creator, their King, their Ruler. Help them understand what the verse means when it refers to the world. Is that them and Grandma and the boy down the street? Unpack what it means that God gave His Son by describing the incredibly powerful, loving act it was for Jesus to step out of heaven and become a human being. And behind all that, help your kids understand why God needed to give us anything in the first place. Help them understand their own sin and how it separates them from God. Help them understand their own need for God. Show them how great His heart of love is for them and how it motivated Him to do the most amazing, sacrificial thing ever to overcome their sin problem and make them His own. That's just one example. And the Bible has hundreds of thousands of verses in it all with their own deeply impacting, eternally significant meanings. 
If you let your kids cram the words into their heads without the meaning, you're feeding them food without the nutrients, and it's going to wind up destroying them. They'll become confident that they know the scriptures when they really only know the words. They'll become self-righteous little hypocrites instead of passionate followers of Christ. Parents, don't let a wonderful thing like the Word of God become a poison to your kids' souls. Take the time. Make the time to help your children unpack God's Word. The Christian Home and Family Podcast is aimed at helping you build a legacy of faith in your family for generations to come. If I can help you accomplish that in any way, please let me know by contacting me at christianhomeandfamily.com slash contact. And if you can pass the word on about the Christian Home and Family Podcast, I would love that. You can connect with us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash christianhomeandfamily and share the good news with all of your friends.